let them back. No, that's way too echoey. And the dog. You wanna go outside? You wanna go in the backyard? There's a lot of echo. There's a dog. There's chiming. It's just a little bit of everything. Filming in your kitchen is not like filming in a room. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very different video. I decided that I'm gonna make Chloe's Kitchen a series on my YouTube channel because you guys love it so much on my Instagram. So today I thought I would start out with something super simple that you guys ended up loving on my Instagram as well. So it's gonna be a mango cashew salad. Do you want me to make a double batch Tito for you today? <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, he doesn't eat anything green except for jelly beans. <laughs> So, um, a ton of you said, get you some chopping boards, cutting boards. I really like these. These are my favorite still. So you guys were scared, nervous when I was cutting stuff. Uh, so you guys told me a really cool trick and I'm gonna show you that right now. You said, get a cloth, dampen the washcloth and then put it under your cutting board. Now, does this look good? No, but it works. No, I won't cut myself. Maybe I will still, who knows? I just asked my husband to leave the room because I feel like when I do these comedic things, I'm all by myself and I'm more myself when nobody's around and I'm just like standing there looking awkward. So today, like I said, I'm gonna start out with like a spinach salad. I love spinach. I, I pretty much don't have a recipe where I don't use spinach. So call me Popeye, I guess spinach okay okay guys I feel ya I feel ya um, three cups two and a half handfuls now this is just gonna serve me so if you want like the whole family you, you gotta do way more okay so main ingredient mango and we are gonna cut this mango just like this, right down on the side of the, the big old seed in there. Now, should I use a smaller knife? Probably, but I'm not. Okay, I, I will. I hear ya. Use a little paring knife, okay? And I'm gonna cut right in here, and I'm gonna make these horizontal, well, vertical. Vertical line, horizon, vertical. Vertical lines, okay? Now I'm gonna turn it, make lines to make squares. And now your mango has perfectly perfect squares. You're gonna take your salad and you're gonna just boop, right on in there. Am I doing this perfectly? No, the paring knife was way too sharp. So, sorry. Doesn't look as good as I thought in my head it was going to. Put the mango in there. So I like half of a mango in my own personal salad. I just, I love mango. I think it tastes great. Okay, mango, done. So right here in my cake plate, I have some tomatoes. Wow, wasn't that super convenient? And now I'm gonna take these tomatoes and I just like cutting them in half and throwing them in my salad, just like that. Now, how many tomatoes I get is probably about five, six, or seven. Grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I just really like these cute little tomatoes because I like putting them on my counter or in my cake plate stand, just like that. So this is what your salad should look like at the moment. Very colorful, very vibrant, doesn't have any crunch. Now I am a very texture, textural, I like texture on my salads. They're figure it out. So right here, I got some cashews. I would say, let's measure it out. Oh, oh yeah. A fourth, a third, a fourth of a cup. Put some honey roasted cashews on there. Now I also have these um, sesame, honey sesame cashews from Trader Joe's. And then these are from Aldi. These are just honey cashews. Now. As I'm looking at these, these don't have honey on them whatsoever. They're just sugar. But that's what makes them so good. I got my measuring spoons out. I will use these for you guys. You're welcome. Now I can take this away. Now as I'm making food, I, I always 
always clean up as I'm making stuff. So I don't like a mess in my kitchen. I usually clean up before I eat. So that's what I'm doing. We're gonna get my sauce. This is the dressing for the salad. I absolutely love toasted sesame seed oil or toasted sesame oil. Um, maybe it's the Japanese in me, I don't know. Most of my salad dressings have this as the base and I love it. So we are going to add in, trust me, I got this, I got this for you guys, hold on. Here we go. Let's, one tablespoon. I did it. One tablespoon sesame oil. It has to be toasted, it has to be sesame, and it has to be oil. Let's do equal parts. Let's just say that's what the recipe is, okay? So then, oh, I didn't even talk about this. This is my ride or die. This is the Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce. Now, every single time I go to Trader Joe's, that is a trek for me. I either have to go to Knoxville or I have to go to Nashville and I always get this. I have six in my pantry right now. This is the seventh. I cannot live without this guy in my life. Okay, so we're gonna pour that in the sauce as well. The third ingredient is soy sauce. Now, if you're gluten-free, use that gluten-free stuff. What is it called? I don't remember what it's called, but my sister uses it. Yeah, that gluten-free soy sauce, you know, you know, blank blank in my head. Okay, now we're just gonna not mess up any more dirty things. We're gonna mix this all together. Now, if you want this more spicy, go ahead and add some sriracha. Equal parts, tablespoon, 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 all the stuff, mix it up. And that is what your sauce should look like, okay? Take your cute little bowl. Will I eat all this? Yeah, probably. Don't. Don't judge me, but yeah, I will probably eat all of it. And we're just gonna dump this on top of your salad, like so. Put this in the sink. And we're gonna take a fork, and move everything around. Woohoo, spinach! Wow! Do I know how to do this? No, I don't. Oh, seriously, come on. My counters are clean. I'm gonna stop mixing. Mix and eat. Uh, but this looks really ugly now. Everything was so pretty and dressed on top, and now it's like, ooh. How did they make food look pretty? How... My food is not pretty. Okay. Hold on. Come on. Let's take a picture. Good measure. Come on. Ew. Okay, guys. My hands and my food, I'm eating it. Shh. When people stage food, they definitely place things where they want to. They do. They use their fingers. I've decided. Maybe tongs because those are better. Very hard. Food does not cooperate with what you want it to do. Now I'm gonna, and on every single food show, they definitely eat their food. And I think that's so weird. Everyone, they're like, but I guess I eat my, fo my food on my Instagram as well. So here we go. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. This is really good. I know it is because I'm eating it. <laughs> I think why I like this so much is it's very light, but it has that crunch of the cashews and kind of that, that, I don't know, boost of yumminess. Usually this is a lunch for me. And the sesame seed oil just adds that really depth umami flavor where you're like, ooh, yeah, that tastes really good. And the sweetness of the mangoes and the sweet chili sauce is really good. And then the soy sauce is just kind of like binding all the flavors together. Now what made me f figure this out? I, I don't remember. I remember I made it about like two years ago and I've been eating it ever since. Highly suggest this, really good. Now that all my lipstick is off and there's spinach all in my teeth, Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Chloe's Kitchen. I don't know how often I'll post these videos. Hopefully they'll be more frequent on my channel. So be sure to tune in and hit that bell notification down below if you would like to see more videos by me in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.